literally start with trees. Sometimes there's logs out there. Mostly you're gonna see lumber in the milling department that's getting really just dissected. It's getting being sawn into thin panels that are dried and seasoned. And the lion's share of the work goes into making the components that make the body of the guitar. That's really uh, intricate work in drying and seasoning all of those woods. The panels are cut to shape. We're using lasers to cut wood out. We're using computer controlled machines to do intricate work. A guitar body is made of a top and a back and a set of sides. The sides are bent on benders and eventually they're put together with blocks and they have a lining that's put on them that makes a little wider gluing area. The tops and backs are thin panels of wood that can vibrate really, really easily and they've got bracing on them. Now that bracing is real important because it holds the tension of the guitar, but it also controls the tone. So by changing the bracing on the guitar to different patterns and shapes, you can control how the guitar sounds. Also, the different woods that we use will change the way the guitar sounds. Rosewood sounds different than maple, and maple sounds different than mahogany. Nearly all the guitars have a spruce top because it's the most vibrant of all of the woods. Once the body is assembled, then we put binding on it. We cut slots in the edge and we'll come around, and you'll see the guys doing this in the factory. It's completely done by hand, where we take different types of specialty plastics or wood strips. They're called purflings and bindings, and they're just long strips of wood or plastic that outline the guitar, and it sort of acts as a bumper and a decorative finishing element on the guitar. Meanwhile, the neck is being assembled. So there's a piece of mahogany that will cut into the shape of a neck. We'll take a piece of ebony, really rare wood from Africa and India that's hard and black. And uh, we cut that into what's known as the fretboard. We put frets in it. We assemble it onto the neck. The whole thing gets carved into a beautiful shape. And eventually those two components work their way into the finish department where we start putting the varnish on. We're using robotic arms to polish. We're using robots to spray. But we're doing all the detail work in between by hand. Eventually that guitar gets polished to a real high shine. And then it comes into the department where we call it final assembly, but it's where all of that is made into the guitar. That's where the guitars, that's the real birthing process because really you've got a body, you've got a neck, it's not a guitar yet. And it's not really a guitar until the craftsmen in this area assemble it and get it playing perfectly. And all the nuances of that are really important. How the neck fits on, how well the bridge is placed. You know, you're talking really tight tolerances of where things can be. And it's in that final department where it all comes together and becomes a guitar. When it's done, it's amazing to behold because two weeks prior to that, it was just a bunch of wood. And it's, it's pretty amazing to see it go together like that.